I haven't made anything in a while, so I got a new guitar. So I figured I'd make a new video on this. So what I have right now, this is an ECY 165 CTM from Edwards Guitars, but there are a company from Japan that is owned by ESP. So think of it like LTD, LTD Deluxe, ESP Standard, but this is their Japanese market guitars. So you can't find these in the United States, you'd have to import them. Now what makes this guitar really cool is that it has 27 frets. They're really tiny frets up here, but nonetheless they're really good. Neck through. It's a very, very nice natural wood finish. The quilted maple top just makes this thing look like sand. <laughs> it, the gold hardware also brings out the binding, which is all over the guitar. From the neck, headstock, side of the guitar, the body, and there's also a white binding that complements that color as well. This thing has a Floyd Rose 1000, and it's just as good as an original, but they're not made in Germany, they're made in Korea, but they're just as good. I bought this guitar used, so the owner previously did some modifications. These used to have Seymour Duncan's, but the previous owner put the Marzios. I think they're Steve Vai's signature. This one's the breed, and I can figure out this one. Instead of a three way, it's a five way selector, which gives it more tonal variation and gives it a bit more twang when you split the coils and this thing sounds really nice and the thing that really lured me is the the inlay the vine of life, the tree of life, whatever you want to call it it's very similar to Steve Vai's I feel like I like this one a little better the flowers are abalone and then the like the stem of the vine is mother of pearl and the ebony fretboard just brings it out just a little better. It's almost like a work of art. I'm still gonna play the crap out of this, you know, like all guitars. But yeah, I I love this guitar. It feels nice, the satin wood finish neck. The original Floyd, the Floyd Rose 1000 Goto tuners. And that's it, man. If you can get a hold of these guitars, go for it. I know there's blue red models, and these are a little bit rare because they stopped making these. Back in 2006, they haven't made any of these new models as far as the color goes. They have the other colors, but other than that, this thing plays great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking to get this guitar, to get this guitar, I recommend it. It's it's really nice, and you're gonna get lost a little bit playing because you're just gonna stare at the fretboard inlay, and but you could overcome that easily. But other than that, yeah. Take it easy.